In this video, we will continue solving rational equations. However, we'll remember that because we're working with fractions, the least common denominator, or any denominator, cannot be 0, or the fraction would be undefined. This means we will always remember to check our answers as we solve these rational equations in the least common denominator. As usual, we will want to start by factoring the denominators. This factors to x minus 4, x minus 8. Looking at the other denominators, we can see that our least common denominator is going to be x minus 8 times x minus 4. So we'll multiply every term by x minus 8, x minus 4. x minus 8, x minus 4. x minus 8, x minus 4. And then when we go back and reduce the x minus 8's out, we're left with x times x minus 4. The x minus 4's divide out, we're left with a negative 2 times x minus 8 equals both x minus 4 and the x minus 8 divide out, leaving us with negative 3x plus 56. From here, we should be able to quickly solve by distributing first, giving us x squared minus 4x minus 2x plus 16 equals negative 3x plus 56. And then combining like terms to get x squared minus 6x plus 16 equals negative 3x plus 56. It must equal 0 before we try and factor, so we'll add 3x and subtract 56 from both sides. This leaves us with x squared minus 3x minus 40 equals 0. Sure enough, this equation factors to x minus 8 times x plus 5. We now can set each factor equal to 0. x minus 8 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0. And quickly find our solutions by adding 8 to get x equals 8 and subtracting 5 to get x equals negative 5. However, notice when we plug 8 into the LCD, 8 minus 8 will give us 0 for a factor. The LCD cannot be 0, and so we have to throw this solution out. Checking the negative 5, negative 5 minus 8 is negative 13, and negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9, and so the answer of negative 5 does work because it does not make the denominator 0. Let's take a look at another problem where we have to remember to check our answers in the LCD. Again, we follow a similar pattern, factoring first x minus 2 times x minus 4. And looking at the other denominators, we see that the least common denominator needs only to have in it an x minus 2 and an x minus 4. So we'll multiply by x minus 2, x minus 4 all the way across on each term. As we do so, we'll be able to reduce the x minus 2 factors, leaving x times x minus 4. The x minus 4 factors, leaving 2 times x minus 2 equals, and after the equal sign, again, we were able to divide everything out, leaving 4x minus 12. Again, we'll start by distributing, giving us x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 4 equals 4x minus 12. Moving everything, or combining like terms first, we get x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 4x minus 12. And then with the x squared, we need to move everything to the same side by subtracting 4x and adding 12 to both sides. This gives us x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. This equation does factor to x minus 2 times x minus 4. Setting each equation, or each factor, equal to 0, we can quickly solve by adding 2 to get x equals 2, and adding 4 to get x equals 4. However, if we plug 2 into the first factor, we get 0, and if we plug 4 into the first factor, we get 0. Both get thrown out, and there is no solution.